Well, there's, there's this term out there we're hearing more about. It's food deserts, and the, the problem is really not new, though. Mm -hmm. For 20 years, City Sprouts has worked to combat the issue in Omaha. Community gardens are the foundation of that. Yes, and Roxanne Williams Draper and Veronica Grano join us this morning. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome Good to back. see you this morning. Thanks to meet you, Veronica. This is a big one. 20 years, right? It's a milestone years. year. So let's take this time. Uh, as we were in this milestone year to talk about the organization, how much you've grown over the last 20 years. It has been an amazing journey for City Sprouts. Started in the mid-90s in North Omaha in an area of high need, which is the, Orth the Orchard Hill neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, we have grown from a small part-time community garden to um, an organization that offers education, mm -hmm. increased fresh produce to people in need, internships and helps to build community. Wow, it's so cool what you do and how you do it. The yeah. educational outreach part of this picture, um, take us into that a bit deeper and the, the value of those programs. So with our educational program, there's several aspects. One is our Little Sprouts program, mm -hmm. which is held on Saturday mornings, and it's from 10 to 11.30, and it's for the smallest gardeners, age 5 to 12, and we're very flexible on the age who's ever mm -hmm. interested in coming, can attend the classes. They're free, and they cover a variety of topics, including um, composting, worms, pollinators, healthy snacks, farm animals. Mm -hmm. uh, last Saturday was their final class, and they made pizzas from the fruits and vegetables that they ah, gathered from the garden. Right. So a lot of kids say, I don't like basil, I don't like tomatoes, and then they slice them up and put them on a fresh pizza that they've just made, and all of a sudden they really mm -hmm. do like fresh vegetables. Right, mm -hmm. then they're very interested. Yeah. And then you mentioned those farm animals, though, and I'm, I gotta say I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> in you guys today, because we were supposed to have a live chicken <laughs> and, in the studio today. And I am really sorry, Mike. The what reason happened? What happened was it's raining, and our girls don't like to travel in the rain. It messes with their feathers, you right. know, and they it's, have a certain well. level of appreciation for their appearance, and so, uh -huh. right. and they also ride in the back, open back yeah. of a pickup truck. It's yeah. for their comfort. It's for their no comfort. But what this did was give us an opportunity opportunity to answer the age-old question, which came first, the chicken or the eggs, right. and actually the eggs. the eggs came first. Oh, so they're different colors. See. Hey, Roxanne, so maybe you can educate our viewers who go to the grocery store, they buy eggs and they don't really think much about it. Why are all of these different colors? Because we have several different breeds of chicken, and the breed of chicken determines the color of the egg that they lay. So mm -hmm. our Menorca lays the white eggs. Um, we have two Easter Eggers who lay this kind Those of a mint green oh, right, right. egg. And then we have eight other varieties, and so they range from light tan to brown. They're, um, all the birds look different on the outside. They're different colors, different shapes, different sizes, just like their eggs. And just like people, mm -hmm. regardless of what you look like on the outside, yeah. you're all good and wholesome on the inside. I right. love that message. And it's, and it's not just here where you can see the eggs. You have these tours where guests can meet the chickens, yes. right? You can meet the chickens. What's the value of that? Well, for a lot of people, they're not familiar with the urban lifestyle mm -hmm. and they are not familiar with where their food comes from. They're used to seeing things come in pa prepackaged boxes uh -huh. or cans and when they actually get out to the urban farm or to our community garden mm -hmm. and they see a radish growing in the ground and you pull it up and there's this big red radish or you pull up a carrot, it is a connection with nature and a connection with earth and knowing where your food comes from and that it can be fresh, local and seasonal and mm -hmm. that's the healthiest way to eat. We also do um, classes that help people learn how to preserve the food. Mm -hmm. So during the time of abundance, when we have lots of tomatoes or lots of cucumbers, you can can them and then have produce to last yep. you through the winter. There's a workshop coming up, um, and we've got some information for you. If you and I hear a lot of a lot of young adults who are just in their first home and they're nesting and they want to learn how to do some of this stuff. Right. So there's this workshop coming on August 6th from 6 to 8 um, at City Sprouts there at 40th and Seward. It's just five bucks to learn how to can, and they'll teach you everything you need to know. You mentioned internships, and then we'll get to the gala because that's okay. the whole reason you're here now. <laughs> but okay. Veronica, you're, you're an intern, so a local high school senior. Why did you want to be an intern with City Sprouts and what have you learned through the program? I wanted to be an intern here at City Sprouts because then I have that work experience and later on in any career field that I have I have that that good saying mm -hmm. of me and um, I've also was interested in their Little Sprouts program so working with the little kids I'm thinking about becoming a social worker or preschool teacher mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that preschool kind of experience getting to work with the little ones. That's cool. Yeah, well, you are um, you go to Omaha South, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, so you take part in the City Sprouts mm -hmm. program. And now we should get to the gala now, right? Okay. Yes, now. It's, we have one next, minute We got left. one minute, so okay. it's a big party. What's gonna, what's, it's Grow With Us, right? It's Grow With Us Gala. This is our 20th anniversary. We're celebrating 20 years of wonderful growth and impact in the community. 
It is Sunday, August 16th at Lawrence and Gardens, 2 to 4. I believe that we have the website, yep. so you can go on and order tickets online. The tickets are $50, tables of 8. And it's a wonderful afternoon with um, beverages and hors d'oeuvres, music, silent auction, oral auction, and opportunity to support our internship program yeah. and the other great educational program that we're doing at City Sprouts. The pricing on the screen, $50 to get them now, 60 if you wait. Yes. So it's smart to get them now, unless you'd like to pay more, and they wouldn't complain about no. that either. Or if you can't attend and you'd just like to make a donation, you can learn about that online at omahasprouts.org or call uh, the number you saw there. Veronica, thank you. It's Veronica. nice to meet you. Roxanne, we need chickens next time. Next time, I promise. I'll, I'll come pick them need, up. We need Mother Nature I'll to come pick up the chickens. Okay, well, on a day when it's not raining, I'm happy to bring them. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you thanks. so much. All right,